you know a first time buyer who would like to buy a home with zero, zero money out of pocket? Not 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, zero. We sold a, pro a property last week, house last week to a buyer, one of our clients who Tanya worked with, who purchased the property literally with zero money out of pocket. They were supposed to give her money back, but she couldn't get the money back because you can't get money back if you don't put any money down. So she was able to get a first time buyer grant for 10,000. And then in, in addition to that, another grant from one of the banks that we shoot, we work with who offers a $10,000 credit directly towards closing costs for any property that is in a majority minority area. Okay. So can you believe this? People are saying you can't buy interest rates, this and that. If you don't own a home and you're renting, or you know somebody that is renting a family member, your sister, your brother, your cousin, their mother, anybody who's renting, and they have the credit, they're credit worthy, and they have a job, and they've been employed for at least two years in this job, they can buy a home with basically zero out of pocket. We can show them how exactly to do that. When Tanya told me the other day, yesterday actually we spoke, and I asked her about the client. And this client happened to be one of her best friends. Uh, I think it was her best friend's daughters or son. And they got into their first home with no money out of pocket. So the city, the country, the region wants first-time buyers to get in homes. That's why there's all these programs. They know the interest rates are high. You know, it's a little bit tougher. But could you imagine getting $20,000 towards purchasing, which includes down payment costs and also closing costs? It's, I haven't seen programs like this since like two, since 2008 during the Great Recession. They launched them in probably, I think it was 09 or 10, and it went pretty strong for a couple of years until the market rebounded. It actually rebounded in spring of 2011. I remember when I, I was in the office and I remember thinking it's the market's shifted. The market has shifted. It is now moving up. I had that month of, it was actually in May of 2013. I think I did about close to 30 pendings that month and took on about 20 some listings. It was crazy. It was a crazy month actually. <laughs> Uh, it was, um, a, um, the business imploded in the office, but anyway, that's another story for another day. So there is opportunity out there. If you do know anybody that rents and pays, you know, a, a decent amount of rent, anything over, I would say $1,300, they definitely should look at buying property. They're going to plan to be on it at least four years or more. They should look at buying a home because we know that more people that own homes have greater net worth than people that just rent. And you'll see all these things. They'll say, oh, you will own nothing and be happy about it. Yeah. There's a big, um, you know, push out there for owning nothing and be happy about it. And that's a whole nother political thing that I will refuse to get into. Uh, my goal and objective for first-time buyers is to get them in homes. The more people in Philadelphia that own homes, the better our city will be because it is shown to be true that if you own a home, that you're a better neighbor, you're a better person, you have pride in home ownership, you keep your house, the property in better condition rather than just renting. I walk into rentals all the time and it's amazing how people live. Amazing. Not in a good way. So people take care of things that they have to pay for and they own. And it also gives people a sense, a greater sense of self-worth. 
So if you know anybody who potentially buy a home, now is the time to take action. I don't know how long these grants are going to be along for. It may be this year. Maybe maybe they'll be here next year. I don't, I don't know. I do know for some of them, when the money runs out, the money runs out. So it's better to act sooner than later, especially in this time of year versus waiting till the end of the year because the money will not come back again until the following year. Once it's out for that year, then that's it. So imagine helping somebody that you know, assisting them and saying, listen, you've been running, having a serious conversation with them about buying, being a good friend to them or sister or brother or cousin, saying, you really need to take a look at this. Maria said that there's these amazing programs. I don't know what they are. You got to call her and her team. They'll walk you through it. And we have some amazing agents on our team and our organization that have been working with a lot of first-time buyers to get them to the finish line and hand them over the keys as a new homeowner. And I remember the first time I bought a home, a con- I bought a condo at 10th and Spruce. And I remember I paid close to 7% interest and I bought it at FHA. And I remember how excited I was and how proud I was of myself when I bought my first home with no help of any family members or I had my, I saved my money and I felt so proud and so happy. And I wish that for others. I know what that feeling feels like and it is a great day. And then when you over time gain equity and I did a great, I had, this property was amazing. In two years, the market went crazy and I literally, my I bought it for um, whatever it was, it, it went 100000 more, which was basically double its price in two years. Imagine that. Now, it's not that time, but what if it went up 10% in two years? That's And you bought something for $200,000. That's $20,000. We're four years. And you kept it for 10. And now it's worth 60, 70000 That's more than you'd ever have in rent. You're not going to get nothing in rent. You're just paying your landlord's mortgage. So if there is somebody that you know who should own a home, please get them in touch with us and we can walk them through the process. We do a buyer's consult. We go over all the paperwork, everything with the agreement of sale. We make them feel comfortable and confident before even going out and touring homes. We just sit down for an hour to an hour and a half with our buyer clients and go through the entire process so that when it is time to write the offer, like they're prepared and ready to go. There's a lot of other stuff we do, but I'll save that for another day. So if you know, who do you know? You could be a first time buyer. We can get them in a home for basically pretty much nothing out of pocket. And Tanya will be bringing the story with myself. In the coming days. We'll see you soon.